Mangum, Oklahoma boasts an abounding and vibrant history, and it seems every building here has a story to tell. The Mangum White House Bed and Breakfast is no exception. Built in the year of statehood, it was home to a whole roster of southwestern Oklahoma families in the span of its first 90 years, and one of those families decided this rambling old Victorian would make the perfect bed and breakfast. So it was already a B&B &B when Will and Ann Sanders saw it for the first time. They'd come from their home in the Netherlands to visit their son, who was an exchange student at Altus High School. They found themselves falling in love with the easygoing vibe of the area and toyed with the idea of buying a home here. That's when a realtor took Will to look at the White House B&B, &B, which was once again on the market. We went in for 10 minutes and we said straight away to each other, too much work. I called Anne. I said, just forget it. It's too much work. Before they knew it, they were making arrangements not only to buy the house, but to take over the bed and breakfast business. They filled the White House with their own furniture and European appointments brought with them from their home country. In the Netherlands, we also decorated our house in the same way as we do here with these clocks. That's actually our clock collection. Will's passion for clocks spills out of the house and into a clock shop next door. It's really something you'd expect to see in a European village, not necessarily in Mangum. We also opened the house for two days a week as a private clock museum. So then I walk around and show them about the clocks, I explain where they came from, how it works and all, and then it's nice for me and nice for the people. But don't let the sight of all these clocks give you the impression there's some kind of strict time schedule here. Each room features its own version of casual elegance. The green room, the blue room, the rose room, and a 700 square foot loft in what used to be the attic, which is perfect for families or a girlfriend get together. And no matter if you live merely a stone's throw from Mangum, you'll feel as if you've entered another time zone here, thanks to old world customs and special touches that are second nature to the Sanders. Though their son, the one who led them to southwest Oklahoma in the first place, has returned to the Netherlands, Anne and Will are staying put. You felt welcome when we came over. Yeah. I would still do, you know. It's, and, and used, in the beginning it wasn't that easy to, to change lives, but, uh, but now we like it over here. It's a different way of life we had, but it's good. It's a good life. We love it over here. Their delighted house guests, as well as the many friends and neighbors in the town of Mangum, are thankful that they do. 